Which is a way to change Tony Parker's tempo? So what? Tony Parker's tempo rhythm. Which is a way to change it? Um, just keep a body on him. You know, pick him up full, full court, uh, apply the pressure the whole game, and um, see if you can get him frustrated. What importance did you give to the resting days? So what? To the rest, I mean, you have on two days to rest, and so you have nine. Uh, I think it's good that we only got two days of rest. You know, from the first series uh, versus the Bucks, we had uh, about a week off, and after Chicago, we had another week off. So it's good to get, just keep going and get, keep staying in the flow with things. Can you say what changes in, in the sports when Ginobili is in the game? Uh, more of an offensive threat. You know, it allows Tony Parker to get off the ball more and uh, roam around the court more freely. Do you think the finals are a kind of uh, fight between two opposite styles? Uh, I mean, every, not, not, you know, every team has their own unique style. Um, we're kind of the same in the fact that we're going to move the ball, uh, we're going to play hard defense, we're going to get the ball up the court, and we're going to make it very difficult uh, for you uh, to guard us uh, by running in the random situations. Uh, they're the same thing. They don't want to play against set defenses. We don't either. So, you know, that's going to be one of the games inside of the game to uh, make the other team work against our half-court defense. You do that, we feel that we're at an advantage, and I'm, feel, I'm sure they feel the same way.